three ways people learn how to treat you. Number one, how you treat yourself. Here's an example. So you go into somebody's car and it's got like McDonald's wrappers all over the place, Starbucks cups, it's dirt. They got their dirty tennis shoes and their uh, there's towels and stinky socks and like cigarette butts are in the tray and it's just it smells bad. It's really crappy. There's papers everywhere. It's just a big hot mess. Now when you get into that car, are you gonna like tap your shoes off on the side so there's no mud in the car? Are you gonna worry about dropping something in there? No, because you probably can't find it. Okay, you're not gonna respect that car, right? Same thing. Are you that dirty car? <laughs> so that's number one. People treat you how you treat yourself. Get it? Number two, how people learn how to treat you. It's how you treat others. And not just how you treat them, it's how you treat people around you. People will, you may not even know they're watching, but people want to come over and talk to you when you seem like you're open and like you're smiling and you're listening to people and you're really hearing what they say and they're like, or you're cheering people on and you're like, yes, I love that, that you're enthusiastic. Okay, so the way you treat others, uh, in contrast, if someone sees you and you're like, rah, 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 and you're screaming at people or you're smacking them across the face, you're going to attract those type of people. Okay, so people treat you by, number two, how you treat others. The third way that people learn how to treat you is by what behavior you accept from them. What will you allow them to do? When they say that they're going to call you, but they never do, how long will you accept that? The first time, the second time, the third time? Because the more you allow something, the more, and, and, even if, if it's something little, but, oh, you think it's little. Oh, they didn't really call, but, you know, I mean, so what? That's just one little thing. No, they'll keep getting away with more and more. The more you allow, the more they, they'll accept. For example, my ex-boyfriend, he was putting me down, calling me names, right? I accepted that. One day, he smacked me across the face, and it kept getting worse and worse and worse until <clears throat> there was blood, okay? People treat you by what you allow. And the more you allow that's negative that you don't want, the more they're gonna get away with. So that's it. Teach people how to treat you by number one, the way you treat yourself. Number two, the way you treat all those around you, whether people see it or not. Number three, by what you allow them to do or not do to you. In other words, your boundaries. So if you want great people in your life, Number one, treat yourself and others well around you and don't allow anything that you don't want for them to do. And if you want great people, then thank you because I'm sure you're already subscribed because you know that you are a legend and we appreciate you. Thanks for being part of the family and help us out and check out our playlist right here and help us reach our goal of 10 million views on YouTube Shorts by June 30th. You're worth it. My name is Liberty, and I started I'm Worth It, Inc. to show you that you are worth it. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about boundaries, what they are, how to set them, how to keep them, how to speak to people about them, then check out our playlist on boundaries. You're worth it.